guys this is uh grizz over here at the big paw garage i figured it's about time i give you a proper introduction to myself uh i live in pennsylvania um 45 years old i've been modeling most of my life um took a bit of a six almost seven years sabbatical from it um, unpleasant divorce at that point in time I was actually modeling almost on a professional level I built a lot of ship models back then um, still a lot of cars I don't think I've ever given up the cars um, but financially I, I built a lot of ship models for uh, uh, some wealthy people at times um, and came home one day to find almost ten thousand dollars worth of inventory burning in the front yard so it kind of took my heart out of it for a long time but over this past year I've been watching uh, Chip over there Chevy Cheeseburger Dr. Cranky uh, Todd H, um, R Saturn, CT Speed Shop, uh, Classic Plastic, Styrene Junkie, uh, Plastic Attic. I mean, you, you name it. I, I, I you know, I, I've been watching almost every one of you, and. Uh, I enjoy every one of your channels. Uh, I haven't found one yet I didn't care for. Um, so this is me. Uh, I build mainly cars now. I don't have any uh, military or aircraft uh, kits to do. I'm a dispatcher for a local paratransit company. We make minimum wage. Um, around here jobs are pretty scarce hobby shops are pretty scarce um, for the most part here in the valley and uh, as up to 60 miles away so far that I found the majority of the hobby is trains so finding a decent plastics store is is basically online and with the budget that I have I'm limited to uh, to you know what I can what I can get I mean I get one kit a month or or maybe two kits a month uh, if I don't need supplies if I have to get you know some styrene or something for a, a project I get one kit a month and a little bit of evergreen, what have you. Um, I use mostly artist acrylics, and I have my own blends for that. Um, I use the windshield washer fluid. I use floor wax, and I have a few other things that I've been testing out, mixing with it, and playing with, and. When I get it perfected, I'll, I'll bring it to light. You know, I don't want to steer people in a, in a bad direction. Um, the tow truck, the 48-hour bill. I was hoping to do an update before now, but um, I, I took a setback with that. I, I went to put the pinstriping on it and found out the pinstriping tape that I got does not curve well. Uh, so I added on the truck. Looked great. Put four coats of future on the truck. Got up the next morning and all the curves were wrinkled and bubbled up and it was a disaster so I had to peel it all back off and then sit here with 2000 grit and buff out all the lines where the future stopped where the tape was removed so I'm um, still working on that 
done a little bit more work with the sling for the rear end. Uh, I figured since I'm going crazy with it, I went ahead and made some hinges and uh, the sling will move up and down and I updated the pivot point on it. I put an accurate pivot on it so it'll swing left to right like it's supposed to and I just keep going and going and going. Uh, but that's basically it for now fellas. Um, I got some extra bills this month, balloon payment on the car insurance and that, so there won't be any extra kits or supplies. As far as uh, kit bashing goes, I do very little of it because kits are, I don't have, I don't have a uh, stockpile like I used to. I've got, I've got seven kits, that's it, and that includes the, the three that I've got going. Um, I've spare parts it doesn't happen I don't have them um, one of the kits that I'm building now is a three-in-one and I don't know if anybody else has experienced this but it used to be three-in-one meant you got two or three rim choices and, and a couple of different intake and carburetor or blower choices and I mean you you get done building the kit you just have a slew of extra parts there it ain't there no more. There's very few kits that actually do that. Um, I have found like the old 49 Merc. Uh, that old 3-in-1 kit used to have stock rims. There were some custom wheels. And then there were hubcaps. Well now you get stock chrome plated rims and hubcaps. There's no more custom wheels. I mean it's just I, I don't have extra engines. I don't have extra anything. So I'm kind of working with what I got. Um, I have a little bit of evergreen. I bought some evergreen styrene. I don't have a very large stockpile of that, but I have a little bit. Um, no photo etch or and none of that stuff. Uh, I'd love to get carburetor linkage, and I'd love to get some of those. Uh, uh, four barrel cards that uh, Chip's got on his website, man, they're awesome. I don't have PayPal, so that's not going to happen. Um, it, so for now, until something breaks financially or, you know, uh, Obama lives up to something he said and raises that minimum wage to $10 an hour, I don't know. But this is what it is. Uh, I do the best I can. I don't. Uh, I don't downplay anybody who does what they can. You know, new, old, in the hobby, whatever. If it's your best, it's your best. You know, you. And every day you progress because there's things I'm learning now about this hobby that 10 years ago, when I was getting paid $200 a car to build them for people, I didn't know. And if I'd have known it back then, I might have got 300. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm Grizz. This is Big Paw Garage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.